today's video is gonna be super duper long, so prepare yourselves. If you don't like long videos of me rambling and talking and vlogging basically, then this video is probably not for you, but if that sort of thing is your sort of thing, please feel free to grab a delicious iced beverage because I wanna tell you a story. filming today in creepy half spooky light because I only have half of my lights turned on today because as I probably have already said I tried to film this once earlier and I ended up talking for two hours I'm not even joking you somewhere on my computer in my camera is stored a two hour long vlog of me talking and I love you guys way too much to subject you to that so we're trying again for the second time but the first time when I was filming for two hours the lights kept overheating the camera and I kept having to stop and then start and then stop and then start kind of like how Stephen King wrote it so today I'm finally going to tell you guys the good the bad and the ugly for my uh, Bahamas Swimming with sharks adventure. Oh, you know what? I should go ahead and do those swatches now. Excuse me for a minute. I'm ready. This trip was sponsored by Benefit. Benefit sent me and Dogman and about 10 to 15 other bloggers and vloggers. Everybody kind of like formed little groups. So I had like my little group of seven inclusive of myself. They sent us to the Bahamas to celebrate the launch and creation of the brand new product which has not actually been released in stores yet. It comes out June 26th. This is June, right? June 26th, the 26th of this month, which is their new Killer Colors collection. Say that 10 times fast, which is their, their real liner. Their, their real liner. You guys remember this product. It's been out forever, the their real liner. But now instead of just having the black color, they have launched several new shades. I will temporarily turn the lights on for that. So now instead of just black, we have blue, green, purple, and my personal favorite, which is brown. And they also came out with two new colors of the Their Real Mascara in blue and brown. I really love the blue one. It makes me feel like I'm back in the 90s. I used to love wearing white mascara and blue mascara in the 90s. It was like my jam in junior high. It was just something that I love to do. In this vlog, we're going to be talking about fun things and my total nervous breakdown and panic attacks and anxiety and good stuff and make new friends all kinds of cool things in the ad for the new product there is a shark in the ad so I guess benefit thoughts like we'll send them down in a shark tank to like promote the new product and like I totally knew what I was being sent to go do and this is kind of just like a total struggle that I have within myself I feel like it's a healthy struggle to have. I feel like all of you guys out there with anxiety and depression know exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of like the struggle of like, where do you draw the line? Like, where do you just like sit back and say, I'm uncomfortable with everything, everything makes me nervous. And then like, where can you just like join life and frolic with the rest of the good folk? I hate like being put in a box. I hate feeling like I can't do things because of my anxiety. I just, you know, I don't like to be limited, even though a lot of times, especially when I'm struggling with it, and boy, have I been struggling with it really bad for like the past two weeks now. I'm always testing those limits is a good way to put it. So I knew what I was going to be doing. I just don't think that I thought it all the way through. I don't think that I thought it out logistically. Leading up to the trip, I had this nice, lovely, inflatable shark, and Dogman is just such an incredible support to me. We started coming up with like inside jokes when we knew we were gonna go on this trip, and we were like making up little songs about sharks and like thinking about sharks, and I just have to say right off the top, I'm not scared of sharks at all. Like I would pet a shark, I would eat lunch with a shark, I would share coffee with a shark. I'm scared of animatronic sharks, which is a total another really weird story altogether, but like real live sharks, 
fascinate me. I love them. I love to look at them. So that is not the part that bothered me. And to kind of like cope with my anxiety, I tried to like watch videos on the internet like from Atlantis, which is the property where we stayed because it was like an activity that you could do at the hotel. I have this like inflatable shark for emotional support. So I watched the videos. I feel like the videos were like a little bit misleading. This vlog is going to be all over the place. So just sit with me, bear with me. I'm going to be jumping a lot. Part of the thing that really triggered my anxiety about this trip is if I, I've never been out of the country before. Okay. And I sure would love to make it to Europe one day. Okay. I'm really hoping that I can do it. And like right now coming back from this trip, I'm not sure when my next international voyage will be. I didn't even have a passport. I had to like get a rush pass passport so that I could even do this trip. That was a whole adventure. So this was definitely my first time out of the country. I've always wanted to try and go out of the country. I think it would be good for me to do that. So I thought the Bahamas would be a great place to start because Texas is not so far from Florida or I'm comfortable with Florida. You know, I'm in Orlando a lot. I go to Disney World a lot. So I was like, oh, it's right off the coast of Florida. No big deal. You know, so like that was kind of comforting to me. I felt like it, it made this trip a little bit easier for me, but there was still some scary things. Like here's something minuscule that probably most people wouldn't even think about, but it's my first time I had to fly on an airline other than Southwest. I take Southwest everywhere. I prefer Southwest, but Southwest doesn't really fly out of the country. I have bad anxiety when I'm traveling and I can't visualize myself being in my destination. Like if I don't have a point of reference, like now I can do LA standing on my head, you know, because some of my best friends live in LA. You know, I know I'm going to get there and I'm going to hang out with Kat. I can see where I'm going to be eating. I can see what I'm going to be doing. Like I have a point of reference. So I feel like if I get to LA, I'm going to be okay. But it's just like the Bahamas. And like, I know it's not going to be like some like totally weird. Like I know it's not going to be like going to the moon, but I just had a hard time visualizing myself being there. It was just a large concept for me to grasp. Like I'm not going to be in the United States anymore. And probably like if you're from another country, you're laughing at me now. Cause like, I'm sure if you live in Europe, like, Oh, you know, you live in France and you go to Germany and that's probably not that big of a deal. But like, for me, it was just like, mind numbingly horrifying, but it's something I felt like I could do. And it's, it's something I felt like would be a healthy exercise to test my limits. Got the passport, got on the plane, flew to the Bahamas. I felt so relieved when I got there. Cause for some reason I was just like, I'm going to die on this plane. You know, sometimes I just, where does my mind go? Got to the Bahamas. And let me just tell you everything. At, at the hotel was amazing. I wish that I would have gotten more footage on this trip than I did, but I felt like I was just so busy, like living in the moment, taking it all in, seeing things that I'd never seen and experienced before. And it's just, once again, it sounds like I went to the moon or something, right? But just like taking in all the lush, like I love plants. I love palm trees. I love stuff like that. And just like taking it all in. The room had a balcony. It was so gorgeous. And Benefit just set the room up so nice for us. One of my favorite things that I got, one of my favorite things on the trip was they had these little underwater cameras for us. And I just thought they were so cute. And I was just so excited to use this and I just have to say hands down like the Bahamas the Bahamian I hope I'm saying that right but the Bahamian people are so incredibly like warm and friendly and a lot of them you know they say like of course tourism is like their number one thing but I mean I feel like Orlando like tourism is the number one thing and they're not always as friendly there but just every like the people like helping you to get on the water slides were so friendly everybody at the hotel all the guides at the hotel the drivers to and from the hotel they are just amazingly like jovial happy people I just I was just blown away by that, you know? And you know, the other reason why I was so excited to go on this trip, and this is gonna sound so corny, but I'm just always like, oh, like I wanna make more friends, you know? And like, I don't really get the chance in Texas to hang out with too many other bloggers and vloggers and Instagrammers and stuff like that, because most of them live in LA or New York and I don't live in either. So I was just like, oh, I'm gonna go 
there, I'm gonna meet new people, we're gonna make new friends, it's gonna be so much fun. And that was part of the reason that really pushed me to go on this trip, because I'm like, oh, I'm so nervous, but once I get there, I'm gonna be hanging out with people, everybody's gonna be so friendly. And I am happy to report everybody was so friendly, like we were in, I was kind of like in this little group of seven people. So it was me and Honey Dog and Candy Johnson and her boyfriend and Jen from Head to Toe here on YouTube and her husband and Patrick Starr. They were kind of like my Bahamas crew and we had so much fun and we went on all the water slides and that was honestly my favorite part was just like floating down the lazy river with them and just talking and laughing and we went out to lunch and we went out to dinner and just the water slides were so flippin' amazing. There was this one water slide that went through the shark tank and I loved that like a billion times more than I loved the actual like going underwater shark thing. Like I said, I love sharks and I feel like going through the tube in the slide, like there were these little sharks and like they were laying on the water slide and you could like see their little shark tummies and it was so cute. I wanted to pet the little shark tummies and I just, I don't know, I loved it and I felt like kind of being in a less stressful environment, like it was easier for me to like see the sharks and like concentrate on just like feeling good and laughing and having fun. Uh, now we're into the, the bad and the ugly, which was not so bad. And once again, you know, it's just, I, I almost feel in a way, like I feel sorry for Benefit because they are not like therapists, obviously. You know, they're a makeup company. And I just feel like sometimes at any moment, like I can just bam, have a panic attack. And like most of the time, I try and be really conscious about what could possibly trigger me and what's gonna be a really big deal for me and what's not. Sometimes I'm really good at assessing those things and other times I just, I'm like, hindsight is 2020, you know? And I'm just like, why did I think that I could ever do this? Why did I think that this was a good idea? And it's like, I'm happy that I did it. I feel accomplished in a way that I did it. I feel relieved that I did it and I have this life experience and it's over. But at the same time, I have been having such horrible anxiety and I just feel like I'm not a jet setter and I went to the Bahamas and back from the Bahamas I went 30 foot underwater and then literally with one day in between I went back up in the air I went to New York for six days and then I flew home so it's just it's it's probably honestly more than I can handle it's like beyond my limitations you know Ooh, shark and the whole time I've been leaving these lights on I said I wasn't gonna do that here's the kicker you know like I knew that I was gonna be going underwater with sharks but I saw in the video I watched so many videos like trying to prep myself for this and it all looked so easy and I swear I think the videos on the hotel's website are like a little bit misleading or maybe I just have no common sense I don't know what's wrong with me but you didn't need any scuba diving experience any diving experience any like it wasn't gonna be like a mask like a full scuba thing I'm showing you guys the footage now and I'm sorry that this footage is so shaky I was filming with this camera which is so freaking awesome it is the Nikon cool pics if any of you guys are gonna do any summer vacation I highly recommend this as an underwater camera and then we really got some incredible footage Honey Dog was filming with this camera which is so amazing and so compact and convenient and magnetic I could go on and on and on about this one as well this is the Polaroid cube and it has a special case so that it can be waterproof the footage is kind of shaky because literally I was having a panic attack and a half the footage online that I saw to prepare myself it looks literally like it's something that's very shallow and it looks like there's literally like four or five like regular stone steps the hotel is called the Atlantis so the theme like all the tanks and stuff it looks like sunken treasures sunken cities it's so cool okay it looks like sunken treasures and sunken cities from Atlantis so I thought you just like walk down like four or five steps into this shallow little thing to walk with sharks and I thought like I I know 
I, I don't know, that's a total lie. I figure that sharks have to be kept in a tank that's such and such deep. Like, I don't think a full grown shark can be in like a four foot baby pool or something. But I thought that it was something kind of like, you know, certain zoos, I don't know where I thought I saw this before, where like animals can be in a deeper part or they can swim in a shallower part. And that's what I thought the situation was gonna be. I had no idea no idea whatsoever that it was going to be 30 foot underwater. I am not an adventurer at all. If you, if you just would have said to me 30 foot underwater, I don't even know what that means. Okay. But if you would have told me 30 foot underwater, I would have just said, nope, like not going to do it. So got there, found out it was 30 foot underwater. And I knew that there was going to be some kind of waiver that I was going to have to sign, obviously, because everything in life comes with a waiver. I swear you like go to the mall now and there's a waiver for you to sign like for walking through the mall that's just how life is sometimes things like that are triggering to me and sometimes they're not looking back on it I should have asked what the waiver was gonna be what the questions were gonna be because once again I feel like if I would have seen the questions on the waiver I would not have done it if I would have seen the questions ahead of time. Here's what happened. Okay, so we're like getting ready to go on the shark adventure. I'm standing there. They make you fill out this questionnaire. Okay, questionnaire like waiver kind of thing where it's like asking you all these medical questions and that right off the bat, whoo, psychs me out. It always does. And I think it's because like my, my anxiety, my panic attacks, 99.9% .9 of the time are triggered by reading medical things, feeling sick, thinking I'm gonna have some kind of medical issue. I'm pretty sure I've discussed this before, but I am a total hypochondriac, okay? Like if I see some kind of medical condition or if I read some kind of warning, like you may experience these symptoms, sometimes I have, I have a really hard time like taking medication because you read the warning symptoms and then it almost becomes like psychosomatic for me. Like even if I don't truly have those symptoms, I'll start to panic and like give myself those symptoms and it's just, you know, I'm, I'm just being honest. I'm just telling you about myself. Probably if I would have known that this is how it was all gonna shake down, I wouldn't have done it. So I get this waiver, okay? And it's like a questionnaire and you have to write like, yes, I have this, no, I don't have this. And at the bottom of this piece of paper in big, bold, screaming letters, it's like, don't put your life and health at risk. Like if the answer is yes, you have this, put the answer is yes. It might not affect whether you can go. It might blah, 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 like all that kind of stuff. So I was like, there's no way I'm gonna lie on this form, you know? So a couple of the questions were like, do you have any hearing loss? Do you have like occasional dizzy spells? Do you have trouble clearing your ears? And like anytime I fly on a plane or go down a fast elevator or go up and down like a tall elevator with lots of floors, I have to chew gum like crazy or my ears won't clear. So I just wrote yes, 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 yes. Like because I was born with like a lesser degree of hearing. That's why everybody always thinks I'm yelling. I am loud to me inside of my own head. I'm not loud. Blah, 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 blah. So I wrote yes. And like the guy standing there read the form, saw that I had answered yes and told me I couldn't go. Said like, because you have dizziness, like, cause that's the thing. Okay, I, whew, stop. Okay, I will now tell you guys the science of the helmet. And I'm sure probably many of you did this science experiment in school when you were a kid. I remember doing this. Like they give you like a cup or a small container and you put a piece of paper inside the container and then you submerge it in water like this and like, oh, magical. Like uh, using gravity science that Bill Nye taught us about. Like whatever you stick inside of the cup, as long as you don't turn it left or right or like let water seep in, whatever you put inside the cup, remains dry. So that's the same kind of technology that this helmet was using. You know, as long as you don't turn your head, your face is gonna stay dry, oxygen is being fed to you, and it's all fine and dandy. So they're saying like, because I have occasional dizzy spells, blah, 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 like I can get down there and fall and then all the water will leak inside the helmet. Just stuff, just totally horrifying, okay? So then I hear like, no, for medical reasons, you really shouldn't go do this. And I started, 
really panicking, crying. And then at that point, it's just something that makes you feel bad about yourself. Cause here's like 20 other people, you know, jumping in wetsuits and laughing and giggling. And it's so much fun. And like everybody else has gone down in this tank and like come back and had no problems and like had the time of their life. Like what is wrong with me that I can't be like the other 20 people and just, you know, have a fantastic time, you know? And it's just like, and I know there's nothing wrong with me and everybody has limitations, but still sometimes, you know, it's just like, that's kind of one of the major downsides about having anxiety or depression is sometimes it just makes you feel so isolated and it makes you feel alone because things that trigger you and scare you are no big deal for 99% of the other population. So it makes you feel like separated from everybody else. And in that moment, I just, I felt so sad because Dogman and I came up with like all these jokes about sharks and I wanted to like go visit the sharks and I wanted to see it. And like Candy and her boyfriend were in my same diving group. And I was like, oh, I want to go down and I want to have like this fun experience. I want to film like in the tank. I want to come back and tell the Swamp family that I did it and you can conquer your fears. And it was just, it was so much in that minute that I felt like I was losing if I didn't do it. So it's just kind of like, and this is the only thing that I'm kind of like disappointed in myself because I feel like I acknowledged in that moment from reading the waiver and I knew it was going to be very triggering to me and I knew it was probably going to be a long time. Like I have felt so sick. I have been panicking every single day. That's why there has not been a surplus of videos lately because I'm just off in my own little world freaking out. I think there's like something wrong with me. I haven't been feeling my best. I keep having to go to the doctor. I knew that that was going to be very troubling for me. I knew it was going to be something that I was going to have to work through after the fact and I feel like I should have just said, no, I can't do this, you know, but it's just like, I felt like that's the whole reason I went on this trip was to do this. And I just felt like I would have been so disappointed in myself if I didn't do it. So somehow they got like the head of the whole thing and they ended up allowing me to go into the shark tank. So I put on a wetsuit. I'm like getting in the wetsuit. I'm like freaking out, like crying. Like, let me tell you, they should have had the camera on me at that point. Cause I can totally vouch that this stuff is waterproof. Cause I was like, oh, like crying and the makeup wasn't wiping off. So there's a total bonus, Jonas. Whew, bear with me in my total disjointed storytelling skills for today. Also, my camera did just overheat. So I just had to take a 15 minute break. So here we are again. Did you get some snacks? Even though when I edit this, it will seem like no time at all has passed. If you will remember to the previous point I was telling earlier in the story, in my crazy mind, I thought like it was going to be a shallow little thing and take four steps down and then you're sharks. It's going to be great. So when I got there, like the night before we did the shark thing, uh, Dogman and I got in like basically a whole day earlier, which was so amazing because we got to like walk around the whole complex and there was like a little pool of baby sharks and baby stingrays. We walked all through the aquarium. This property is gorgeous. Okay. And then we walked past this big giant shark tank. And I was like, Oh, I wonder if that's where we're going to be walking with sharks tomorrow. And I'm like looking all about looking for a nice staircase to walk down. And all of a sudden my eyes behold like an itty bitty skinny little teeny tiny metal ladder. Okay. And this is a fear that I don't think I've shared with you guys before, but ladders freak me out. Okay. I don't like to climb down ladders. I don't like to climb up ladders. I, I like step ladders, but not like real ladders. Don't want to be doing it. And it's like rusted and nasty and like covered with like things like floating, like algae, just like a fuzzy, a fuzzy ladder of doom. Okay. That's what I saw. And like, don't get me wrong. I love the look. I love moss and algae and I love to look at it, but I do not want to be up close and personal and friends with it and like touching it with my hands. Don't want to be doing that. Okay. And I was trying to like pep myself up the night before. I was like, you know what? I bet it's just like easy steps that they like bring out during the day when they're doing like this shark expedition and then they just take it away. This is certainly not what we have to do, you know? And I'm just like, already starting to panic, you know? So like, 
getting there and realizing I'm gonna have to climb this terrible ladder and I've signed this horrible medical waiver and just all of it together culminating. I'm putting on a wetsuit and like I probably didn't make the best bathing suit decision at all that day, but it was so cute I had to wear it. It was like my new UNIF bathing suit, but the bathing suit had a collar and the wetsuit had a collar and then like nobody told me I was gonna have a 75 pound oxygen tank and a you know like on my back and I'm like panicking and like I did not think they were gonna let me go down because like you can you can see on this footage like the guy who was so friendly by the way the scuba divers so friendly I did not think they were gonna let me go because I was like shaking like a leaf Dude, nothing but dread Hi, sir. Nothing but dread. You tell yourself you're excited, not nervous. Huh? Yo, on the helmets. Only up this section, sir. This is all me up here. Now you can reach up in the helmet to clear, right? Yeah, so just kind of put your head against the chest. Mm -hmm. Just kind of tip your head a little bit. Okay. And pinch your nose, okay? If okay, your hand can't get up here, two fingers, okay? Okay, two fingers? Push down real hard and say, yeah, okay? Gotcha. Did you hear what he said? Can you tell her real quick? <laughs> really? <laughs> you're doing the right things. If you're doing gum, right, that's good. But swallow when you're going out. If you really can, get, get your hand up there, okay? But I need both hands to be on the reeling from you. Oh, my God. I almost fell off the ladder. You're okay. You're all right. I'm, like, shaking. Yeah. I don't know if I can do this. You got this. You, 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 got, got, you, got, you, you got trouble? Take care. Just take your time going down the ladder. Focus on your breathing and clearing the air, okay? Okay. They're going to help you on the last step of the ladder, right? Okay. All right, so once you get on the bottom of the water, it's all you from there. Some people who were watching when I went down in the tank, they were like so surprised that I did it because like my foot was like slipping off of the ladder because I was shaking so bad. And the guy, ooh, I can teach you guys this. Okay, uh, like there's a whole new way that we can communicate now. Cause like you watch this like video tutorial before they throw you in a shark tank so that you can communicate with the professional scuba divers. So this means I'm okay. This means I'm not okay. And you point to where is not okay. This means I wanna go up. And this means let's go down further into the shark tank. And I thought that the guy, when I'm standing on the ladder before they put on the helmet and take us down into the tank. I thought he was just asking if I was okay, but I don't even know if you can hear it or not because like the picture quality on this camera, amazing. Audio quality, not so good. Okay, sign, sweetie. Yeah, I'm no, okay. No, what's your okay sign? Oh. Okay, I'm give, I'm give the dive that all the way through. That's you okay, all right? Okay. But he wanted me to show him that I knew the symbol for okay. And I was just like freaking, freaking out, shaking, panicking, like, oh, like freaking out. And this is hilarious. This is a hilarious story. So like there's, there's scuba divers, like I've probably said 500 times, like to help each person go down into the tank, walk around, yada, yada, yada. And they're wearing flippers, of course. Well, I didn't really see that. And I'm standing on this ladder with like my ankles in the water. And like, I felt something like touch my ankle that felt like a fin. And I was like, oh my God, I think a shark just touched my ankle. But it was like the scuba diver flipper, slipper. Yeah, there you go. You okay? Yeah. I'm scared. Good, Good. Rich. Okay. I think it was maybe a shark or a human. I think it was just him. I think him. it was Darwin. I think oh. it was just him. <laughs> oh, that's my fin. My fin is in there My fin is in there. I was totally losing it. Like the minute I stepped like two feet on the ladder, I was like, I don't think I can do this. But Dogman was there the whole time. And like there was just so much safety, like safe, good feelings with him being there. He's like a professional diver. No joke. Like professional certified scuba diver. Like he's the adventurous one. Okay. I live on a couch. He was just walking me through it. And it's like everybody was trying to calm me down and tell me reasonable things because they're like, all you gotta do is breathe normally. But like sometimes when I'm having a really bad panic attack, I notice that I hold my breath and they're like, you can't do that here. So I'm just like, I'm trying to think about 800 things. I'm trying to think about breathing and who thinks about breathing. So it was just so
so many sources of total unreasonable panic for me. They put the helmet on my head and like literally they were so patient with me, the scuba divers. Like I was going like one rung at a time and the good thing is, is like you could reach your hand up into the helmet to clear your ears. So I just equalized at every step. I was trying to concentrate on breathing. Looking back at the footage, it's so cool. And I showed it to my parents and they're like, we cannot believe you did this. Cause like, if you look at my face underwater, if you can see, like, I can just tell my face is total panic, panic in my eyes, like screaming in my eyes. Logic does not play in, okay? Cause I was like clutching onto the helmet for dear life. Cause I thought like, if I let the helmet go, that it was just gonna like float up to the top of the tank and I would just die in the bottom of the ocean. And just all kinds of, like I realized that they are unreasonable thoughts to be having. But at the same time, especially in the moment, I'm just panicking so much that I'm just like clutching. I'm just holding onto the helmet. It's hilarious. Uh, but it's also sad. It's just, which one is it? And honestly, I wanted sharks to be like right up at my face. I wanted to like pet sharks. I wanted to look at sharks. I wanted to be friends with sharks. And that's the only thing why I really say I enjoyed the water slide tube through the shark tank so much more. Cause I feel like I wasn't worried about the helmet, like filling up with water and there was no stress there. So I could really like be around the sharks and see the sharks and relax amongst the sharks and enjoy the sharks. Whereas like in the tank, I don't feel like they really got that close to me. If you saw the clip of the footage where I'm going down the stairs, there's a shark that comes like kind of close to me. But I feel like when you're underwater, like the closest that they got to me was like where the people were standing. Cause you, I'm sure you can see in the footage, like, you know, there's people standing, you can see the aquarium. So they were like that far up. So that's probably like eight feet away from me. The shark part was not troublesome at all. But like I was down there and I just kept thinking the helmet was gonna fill up with water. And sometimes when I have a panic attack, I feel like really constricted. I feel like I can't breathe. And I was trying to focus on breathing. And I started thinking like that I didn't breathe right. And that I would never be able to fill my lungs up with air again. So I ended up like chickening out and I had to, I felt like I got, I had to get out of the tank early. So I got out about five minutes quicker than everybody else did. And I didn't want to ask Dogman to come up early or anything like that because everybody else I feel like was just having a super amazing time. And once again, that was kind of like a really like isolated feeling for me because I'm like, what's wrong with me that I can't just like live life and have experiences. And I don't know, my heart goes out to you guys. Like if you have anxiety and panic attacks and stuff too, just know that you're never alone. And these feelings are not ridiculous. And it's like, I almost, I'm disappointed in myself for kind of like having those feelings, but it's just all stuff that happened in the moment. You know, it's just something like I roll with the punches and like, and deal with, but this really, I don't know, it, it was, too much for me. It's like, I, I really feel like I've got a firm grasp on my limitations and I thought I would be much more okay with this than I was, but I, I don't know. And it's so ironic too, because like the next day that we were there, it was like a free day and we were like riding the water slides and doing all kinds of fun stuff like that. And I was telling them, I was like, oh, like I kind of wish that we could like go and do it again. Because once again, it's like, you know, a point of reference. And I feel like I went down there, I survived, I was okay. Like I felt like almost if I did it again, I could handle it much better and it wouldn't be so scary for me. Bless the benefit people because as soon as I came out of the tank, like they were so proud of me for doing it at all. And one girl on the team literally was like holding my hand. And I was like, thank you for holding my hand because I was just shaking so bad. They got me a bottle of water and I just like sat on a rock by the tank and I was just like trying to take it all in. And in that moment, I was like so proud of myself. I felt accomplished that I did it at all. And then I felt bad because I, I'm still, and to say anything else would be a total lie. Like I'm still panicking that somehow like I injured myself. Like I've been having a lot of like sinus trouble and stuff lately and that's probably all it is. But like in my head, I'm like, it's cause I went in the tank. It's cause I went in the tank and like, it's just, it's stuff. It's just stuff that I have to work through. 
I mean, I'm just very thankful that I was even given an opportunity. And like I always say, it's only because of you guys. Like, because you guys are here, because you guys watch me, that's the only reason that any company even cares who I am and would offer me and extend to me any of these opportunities. Every opportunity that I get really comes from you guys and from y'all's support. And I'm just thankful to y'all first and foremost. And then I'm thankful to Benefit for, for giving me the chance to let me do something that is new and exciting and terrifying all at once. And I don't know, like right now I'm pretty shooken up and it's been a lot for me to take in and reason out and deal with. And Dogman deserves a medal because like he just has to hear it all. And I just, I'm so thankful every day, you know, to have him in my life, to be such a strong support and to just be there for me and to help calm me down. And he always knows the right things to say, you know, you're not dying, like let's work through this. Uh, so it's definitely been like a lot of walking around, a lot of pacing around since then, like, you know, just trying to like work through all of this in my mind. But here I am. I have been feeling not so great lately, but I'm sure every day I get just a little bit better. So, and now I'm like, I feel like I'm back in the swing of things. I feel like I feel good enough to make videos again. And this is just my favorite element. This is my favorite thing in life to do. And I'm just so grateful to have you guys to listen to me through all of my stories. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for caring. And I just, you know, this is the one thing that I just have to take away from the entire experience. My, my only regret is, is I feel like when I read the waiver and when I did read the medical stuff and it scared me so bad and I knew I was gonna have a really hard time like reading that and dealing with it afterward, I feel like in that moment I should have said, no, this isn't right for me. And I feel like I just was, and I can't even say I was like peer pressured because there was nobody there like, you have to do this. Or like, why aren't you doing this? You're such a baby. Like nobody was like that. Like my, my, my little group of people, my little group of friends, I miss them so much already. And I just feel like Candy and everybody else who was there on that trip with me, like, you know, they were listening to me. They were so friendly and just like, and supportive and okay. It, it wasn't like I was gonna be like ostracized, you know? It wasn't really like peer pressure, but it's just kind of like the way that I felt about myself. Like I should really push myself and like everybody else can do this. I should do this. But sometimes when you have anxiety, I'm sure you understand. Like there's just things like we just have like different limitations and I feel like that's okay. And I feel like definitely this has been a lesson to me about myself and I just need to not always like try and push myself like I feel like it was enough to totally like push myself to go out of country and to just kind of have those experiences and I feel like it was like too much for me to take in all at once and now I'm kind of like having to backtrack and slow way down and like you know, kind of work through it all. Looking at it like that, I feel like it would have been a more intelligent response for me to say, hey, like, I don't really feel comfortable with doing this now. But you know, hey, we live and we learn and it's okay. And that's really what life is, is every day you're gonna learn new things about yourself. You're gonna learn new things about the, the world around you and you know, that's some of the richest parts of life is just those new experiences and learning all these new things. And I, I feel like I'm just being silly now. This is like such a lofty idea. But thank you guys so, so much for being here for me and for listening and just go out in the world. And if you have anxiety or panic attacks or depression or whatever you may have, like you don't have to feel limited by your mental illness. You can always like just branch out. And like I always say, even if it's just baby steps amongst people that you feel comfortable with or by yourself, you know, like every day, like just don't feel like you can never do something. You know, it may take you years to work up to it. Like how many years now has it taken me before I feel like I can leave the country? You know, now I can finally say that I did it. Even if I never do it again, I can look back and say, hey, you know, I really stepped out of there. I stepped out of my comfort zone and I was able to do it and I came back and I'm living to tell the tale.
scale. Never limit yourself. Never feel like you can't do something. Um, and things may be scary and you may have to deal with it, but just do what makes you feel comfortable, I guess is, is the greatest thing to say. I just have to say thank you so much. Thank you once again to you guys. Thank you to Benefit. Thank you to everybody else who was on that trip who was so incredibly friendly and warm to me. And it's just, that was such an awesome experience. I, I don't get out much. I really don't. So it was just so amazing to be amongst a group of people who were so incredibly friendly and just fun to talk to and hang out with. I'm going to link you guys to everybody's channel down below that I was hanging out with. It was just so much fun. I just have to get over the panicky side of it, but I can do it. I can do it. Thank you guys so, so much. I said thank you a thousand times. I mean it so much. Thank you guys so, so much. I love you guys so much. I believe in you. Anything that you put your mind to, you can accomplish no matter what you're up against. So never, ever, ever give up on yourself because you like literally, if you would have told me like five years ago that this is what I would be doing today, I would have never, ever believed you. So just, it doesn't matter if you're in the darkest period of your life right now like good things are coming good things are gonna happen you just have to be patient you have to give yourself time you have to work through the really hard stuff and the really dark stuff but I swear I swear if you just stick through it it's gonna be so worth it and there's ups and there's downs you just have to take it all in stride but I swear to you you will come out on top and tomorrow is another brighter day and I just believe all of you are so capable of so much much. So just never ever lose hope in yourselves. It's okay to falter. It's okay to have really, really bad days, but just don't give up. Okay. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm sorry. This was so long. Bye.